Hey guys, Jen here with Serenity Hill Farmstead. Today I'm getting ready to make candy boards for our bees. Um, going into the winter season, we had a lot of honey because it was our first year with bees that I left in there for them. But it's January now and I'm noticing not as, um, not as much noise in the hives as uh, there was going into winter and that there is now. And I know that's normal to an extent, but I just want to give them a little insurance policy and just squeeze in there and put this candy board on top of their hive real quick so that they have, if they need it, they have extra food stores. Um, they had two deeps, so that's a lot of honey, like a lot. So I have a food scale here that you don't need if you have like, you know, the prepackaged things of sugar because it tells you exactly how much is in there, but I've got a big 50 pound Costco size bag of sugar here. So I'm just gonna measure out my um, 16 pounds of sugar that I need to put into this candy board. So now I've got about 16, probably a little over pounds of sugar. And I was thinking as I was almost done measuring this out, that it probably would have been smart to get eight pounds in here and wet it and work with the consistency to get it to where I want it to be before I added all three cups, but oh well. So now I'm gonna get three cups of water. I'm gonna get um, Berkey water. I don't wanna have chlorinated water. I have not in, Looking everything up, I have not seen anything specifically saying you don't want tap water, but just in my thinking, all of the stuff that's in tap water, I'm gonna go ahead and use our filtered Berkey water. And then in here, I've got a tablespoon of white distilled vinegar and a tablespoon of this. This is Honey Be Healthy. The ingredients of it is sucrose, water, spearmint oil, lemongrass oil, and lecithin. It smells amazing. This is really good for the bees. Um, gives them an extra boost, so I'm going to add that to the water. Here's my candy board. I didn't show you guys. I ordered this online from someone that makes them. I did not order this from Amazon. Um, Where did I get this from? So I ordered this from Little LaRue Apier. Now I've got a big five gallon bucket because I figured that'd probably be the best thing to use to do this. And I have clean washed hands. I'm just going to go ahead and Pour this in little bits at a time and just work it with my hands because it's probably going to be easier. I'm not going to pour all of this in at a time. Whoops. I just made a mess. But I guess the consistency we're looking for is kind of like um, wet sand, like something that you can mold but isn't super wet. Starting to get a good texture, but <laughs> I gotta get at the bottom of this. Definitely should have done half of the time. It's getting to be about 
the right consistency here. Whew, it is cold. This bag of sugar's been on our mudroom. Whew, back porch area. All winter. <laughs> and it's cold. Yeah, next time I do this, I'll definitely be separating Ugh, the sugar. So I got, as you can see that, it's pretty powdery down at the bottom still. The consistency in this is really important. If you have it too wet, it's just gonna be mushy and it's gonna add moisture into the hive and it's not gonna get the right, you really want this to turn to candy. It's really, really hard. Um, hence the name Candy Boy. But if you do it too dry, you don't add enough water to it, then obviously I'm not gonna have the right texture, it's just gonna stay powdery. And then all of that sugar is gonna go into your hive and make a mess and you don't want that either. The next thing we're gonna do now that we've got everything mixed is fill our feeder tray. This is a 10 frame. Uh, that's the system we use. And it's got the hole on the front for them to fly in and out. So I'm gonna put something underneath it. This is the box it actually came in. So that way, since our bees aren't here on our property, they're on our farm 10 miles away, so that way I can just close that up and take it with me and transport it better. So we've got this, this block that came with it. It's gonna go ahead and block that entrance. Maybe we should do it this way. Yeah, I'll do it that way. And the reason that does that is I don't want sugar to get into that hole and I wanna make an area for them to be able to come up and get this. I mean, they can eat it from underneath too, I guess, but um, you wanna provide ventilation in here. So we're gonna leave a couple different areas in here for them to be able to have uh, good airflow through here and don't cause any problems in the hive. And we'll just pat it down, make it nice and firm. Maybe long sleeves was a poor wardrobe choice today. Okay. And because it's already like late January by the time I'm getting this on there, I seriously doubt they'll eat this entire thing. Uh, like I said, they had really good honey stores going into winter, so I don't think they'll eat through this whole thing, but who knows? So I'm just happy to be able to have some kind of insurance policy for them. If you missed the last video I made about uh, my bees and our first year going into winter with bees, um, the last hive that I had, a viewer actually made the comment that the bees that from the hive that I lost, they had their tongue sticking out and that was a sign of pesticide poisoning. So upon some further investigation, uh, they all had their tongues out and yeah, he was right. So thank you to the person that made that comment. Um, I did some research and couldn't really find a source. We don't spray anything and no one around us does that I am aware of. We don't have farm spray that time of year and really we don't touch a farm either. So I don't know where it came from but who knows they fly far so obviously they got into somehow but thank you to the person that made that comment and made me feel like I didn't kill my bees. It wasn't my fault but I definitely am taking some other um, precautions with my other hive and I'm kind of babying them 
a little more so I want to really be careful with this hive make sure that I can do my absolute best to carry them through this winter so I don't lose both of them I might have a little left over here I'm gonna make sure this is good and mashed down so it can solidify and be good and hard for the morning. I'm using the method from um, Little LaRue Apiary, who I bought this from. And he's got a YouTube channel, so go check him out because he's very, very knowledgeable. Now, I'm using his technique here to do this. Except I don't think in the videos that I watched from him um, doing it this way that he used the Honey Bee Healthy, but I think he talked about it. I'm not 100% sure. But a lot of people talk about using the, um, the Honey Bee Healthy. I just got this from Tractor Supply. You can get it online on Amazon too or wherever. I'm sure your local bee suppliers keep it too. We don't have any local bee suppliers here. Their closest is like two hours away. So, okay. So this now, I've got everything on here. It's nice and firm and I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna let it sit here for like 24 hours pretty much. I'm gonna let it sit till tomorrow when I go back out and we check on the bees. Okay, well they were already coming up through there and I got a couple that <laughs> ran up right up in my face real quick. I wonder if I put this on right, but I can see, I don't know if you can see it, I can see the hole so they'll be able to get in and out here. But usually, I don't know, I've looked at other hives around our area and you can usually see the hole. Hmm. So I don't know, I know they can get in and out. They're already, quick peek already snacking they're doing good which makes me really happy to see them so yay they're alive and they're doing well so I'm excited my other hive here they're dead and while the kids are occupied I think I'm actually going to get into that hive but that's going to be it for this video we did the candy board they're happy I'm just going to ratchet strap it back up and we'll see them in spring if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button the notification bell and you can see if these guys will make it through to the spring. Fingers crossed. We'll see you later.